In more local coverage, Rhode Island has seen its fair share of severe weather over the last few years. And local officials say we need to start adapting to climate change now. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo has the details in tonight's Green Team report. The newly formed Rhode Island Climate Change Commission has issued their first report, and in it they say that Rhode Island needs to adapt now to the ever-changing climate. Protecting Rhode Island's assets from natural beauty to man-made structures. That's what the newly formed Rhode Island Climate Change Commission was created to do. The commission is a group of 20 from healthcare, public, academic, advocate, and professional communities. To take a look at ways that we can respond to climate change in Rhode Island. State Representative Chris Blazajewski is a co-chair of the commission. Regardless of the causes of climate change, climate change is happening. It is just the, a truth that we have to deal with. And Rhode Island needs to have a plan to respond to climate change. In the past three years, we have seen devastating weather in the state. Between historical flooding and Hurricanes Irene and Sandy, it's becoming obvious Rhode Island is vulnerable to changes in the weather. Air temperature here in Rhode Island has risen 1.7 degrees in the past 100 years. Narragansett Bay's water temperature has risen 4 degrees since the 60s. And sea level of the bay has gone up an astounding 10 inches since the 1930s. Natural resources are changing, but there are many other effects. The health care of the community to our uh, sewer systems, to our infrastructure that can be damaged by the variability and intensity of weather systems. Taking on the extremes of weather here in the ocean state and protecting our assets is the goal. What will happen going forward will be that one, we'll continue to look at the science and the risks, and two, we're going to develop priorities for legislative agenda and for administrative changes that can be made. And if you'd like to read the Climate Change Commission's full report, you can go to our website at WPRI.com and look under the green team. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.